I just want to let you guys know from Dapper Squad member to Dapper Squad member, you guys are all my best of friendos. Sorry for that corny uh, intro, but what's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Jujutsu Kaisen Episode 16, the Kyoto Sister School Exchange Event, Group Battle 2. I'm excited for this. Last episode, we we didn't reveal it, but we found out that uh, the Kyoto School is trying to kill Yuji. So we all came back to help Yuji, and we're going to see where we go from there. And it's Toto versus Yuji going at it. Toto is giving him some pointers on how to not be weak and how to be strong, which I, I love when we can have a fun event and also get training in. Like, I love training arcs, but when we can do both, it's a win-win for everyone. So I'm like, why the fuck not, you know? Let's not waste any more time, though. Let's jump right on into this episode. I am way too excited. Remember, if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, like Black Clover, Haikyuu, many, many more to come, check out the Patreon. Links are in the description. We are four episodes ahead for you guys. If you guys want to support me, and Patreon's not really your thing. If you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment, it really does help me with that YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post. And then don't forget to follow me on all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter, at Dapper Darius. Thank you guys so much. Uh, let's hop into this. Jujutsu Kaisen, episode 16, the Kyoto Sister School Exchange Event Group Battle 2. Let's do it. The hands will never surpass the eyes. I've never heard of that, but it makes sense. Your eyes must be... Never thought of it like that. Those with good eyes will improve. I don't mean to pause it so early because I know it's about to get to some, some good shit, but that can be... I mean, he's not wrong. Like, I think he's just talking about having eyes for critique, but if your eyes... Like, if you can't interpret certain things in a certain way, then you'll never be able to develop into a certain i get what he's saying it's you know, i like that i actually i might actually use that in certain real life aspects oh he's adapting getting quicker he's improving Oh, really? This is beautiful. Our entire mind, body, and soul is one. Don't think of it separate. Don't feel like you're channeling it. Do it as one, you know? That actually is... He's been giving him great advice. Oh my god. And no more words are needed. Oh my god. This is fucking beautiful. This is angelic. What the hell was that? That was amazing. There's no way my just shot my man like, oh, Mechamaru. Okay. Oh, Pie Panda was just. So this is Mechamaru? That's not Mechamaru? Hold on. Hold on. Damn puppet. He's looking at him from a monitor. Oh my god, he has no right arm. I can see why his name is Mechamaru. That's fucking insane though. The type of weaponry this man has. Okay. By my guess, this is where everyone stands. Oh, I'm so glad Panda did this. Okay, so this is by my, his guess, which we know Maki's fourth grade 
because semi second grade interesting we know maki because she doesn't have any curse energy very unique situation for her but i definitely love her stuff i think she's amazing nobara my miwa third grade panda and mekamaru at second fushiguro and momo at like seven like oh they're at second they're like semi second Inumaki and uh, Camo at first grade? Oh, semi first grade. And then Tomai. Okay. Okay. And it's kind of, some of them are a little fluctuating. Okay. Semi first grade. He's not a real panda, he's a cur cursed corpse. Oh my god, first off, that punching technique is so cool. I love. This fight is insane. I am loving every aspect of this. So that I love how the camera shot was split between them on two sides of that tree and stuff. And I loved how they were talking to each other about puppets earlier. And he was like, what do you know? Oh my god, this just got so deep for me. So, Mekamaru is a sorcerer who's controlling something. Not a cursed corpse, more like a robot. like Mech But it has definitely something to do with cursed energy because of the cooldowns, of the drawbacks, of every... So, I want to know so much more. So cool. Whereas Panda is not a puppet being controlled by someone else. It, it is... Pup Panda is his own individual entity, but he's a cursed corpse who was born with emotions, much like a sentient person. But instead of having like a heart, the cursed corpse always has a core, which acts as his heart. Am I correct on that? And then, um, what's the principal's name? Masamichi? Um, yeah, Masamichi is the one who obviously develops these cursed corpses. That's his, that's his cursed energy power. But he is the leading expert on this, and this was just like a... I don't want to say it was an accident, it was a one-off, was this like it's Frankenstein's monster? This is this is crazy to me. Really? Oh wow. Understandably。Understandable why he would be upset like that. Oh my goodness, there's no way something happens to Panda. Those little things on his fist were so cool. Ultimate Mechamaru, Ultimate Panda! <laughs> Always lend you strength. Older brother and older sister. What? Ultra shield? I like how he has a multitude. Has a single core for its heart. Yep. But there are three. That's the older. And by switching out which is the main, I can convert his body into different forms. This is the panda core focused on balance. Older brother gorilla core? <laughs> and then my bashful older sister. Oh, I see. It makes so much sense. Is Masamichi able to repair those cores though? Or are they broken broken? Because that's insane that you got to kill panda three times to beat him. I love the music. I love the the in the mind games thinking. Jeez. 
Jesus. The speed needed for Mechamaru to escape this barrage. That's not doing nothing to gorilla mode. Ooh, good dodge. Ooh, okay, little distraction tile. Ooh, with a rocket escape? Are you gonna tell by its cursed energy output? Ooh, that was a very precise close range attack. Did that hit his core? Oh, wow. So smart. It's fucking ridiculous how smart these guys are. And there goes Mechamaru's fucking face, arm, head, everything. I think I got a new top three favorite character in the show, Panda. Is that Okotsu, I think? Hannah's a good dude. I do really feel bad for Mechamaru. Horrible situation. That's funny. That's a good prank. That's hilarious. I thought he wasn't born with... Oh, wow. I was about to say, I thought he wasn't born with anything below his knees. That's a nice dream for him. Nah, Panda's not judgmental like that. I'm saying. This is a very touching ending to what I didn't think would be anything like this, you know? Yeah, that'll be nice. I do like how even though... You damn puppet. I literally was about to say, I understand completely why someone like Mechamaru would be resentful or aggressive towards someone like panda in that situation but i also really like panda's empatheticness and was like i thought of anyone here you and me would be able to be at least have some sort of relatability between us and then and mechamaru kind of opened up he's like you know if there's one thing i could have i would want to be together with everyone but he, he physically cannot do that and so panda's gonna be there to help him you know it's, it's i was not expecting that whatsoever man Lend me your phone. Ultimate Mechamaru retired. Sheesh, that was a fantastic fight, man. We cut right over to the great shit. Miwa versus fucking Maki. And everyone on the rest. That was an absolutely incredible fight. An incredible episode. So much lore. So much info. Oh my god, let me get 20 more episodes just like that. Like I said multiple times, I love the relatability of this random fight between Panda and Mechamaru, and they're like they're like different but exactly the same. We have um Nobara going against Momo. That should be interesting. But with that sneak attack on Panda, I just thought, oh, it's just one of those anime moments where he pretended to die but i was genuinely worried for a second there but then it actually does make sense that he almost killed one of his cores the first one was um the sister right and then he destroyed the panda one so all that was left was the gorilla which that's so cool and i love how masamichi is the one who made him he raised him like a child at a crib and like a, a whole room and everything and he said you have an older brother and an older sister 
one day it'll make sense and they will always lend you their strength it's uh, and and they showed the gorilla for their brother but they said my bashful older sister they didn't show it was like a little bit of a picture of an energy ball so <laughs> what is the sister core what the fuck does that do i know they're hiding it for a specific moment i can't wait i can't wait um man i didn't write anything down this episode or last episode that's just how fucking enraptured i am mechamaru's fighting was so cool with the long range beams with the swords with the defense very multi-tool like very much like a mechamaru type i love that so much um but oh it's it's he said have you ever heard of a pack i forgot what the title is like a heavenly pack it's like instead of one where you forge it with yourself you know this is one where he was forged upon his body at birth he was born with no right arm with a super painful sensation all around his body and no feeling from his waist down oh that's horrible man he said he but he was gifted with insane powers and able to use his curse energy over long distances so it's like it's a it's a trade-off but nowhere near a fair trade-off like i completely get what he said when he was like i would trade this all this for a normal body any day gladly and then he had that dream to be together with everyone how he walked out of that tub in his own body it was very touching very emotional there's something that will always make me sympathetic for people who are in medical conditions that they didn't ask for i there's something about that it's always like it's always been like man you've been you were just dealt such a shitty hand like it's, it shouldn't even be like that like i feel like you should be judged based off your actions but you were you know you were this this was the situation was thrust onto you without any fault of your own it's just it's, i always feel bad i always do it's horrible horrible but fantastic episode fantastic fight i love that relatability at the end there uh, you know it was it was some emotion there definitely feeling it both sides I'm glad they were able to come to some sort of understanding Mekamaru, Panda, you guys are my boys. You guys are my boys. But like I said, fantastic episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, check out the Patreon for next week's episode. All that jazz. I'll catch you guys on this next one. Peace out, you guys.